Lub dub. Lub dub. Lub dub. Lub dub. Here's the hearts. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. My heart beats for you. Aw, how <gasps> sweet, Carlene. Oh, I hope I don't get a broken heart from this. I don't think you will. Although okay. we do have to take it apart. <gasps> I guess. Oh, be still my beating heart. <sighs> All right. So we're looking here at our you know external heart pieces, um, and what you can kind of see we are seeing right now an anatomical position ish. Um, that there is kind of a point to the heart pointing down at us, and that would be the apex of the heart. And then there is another part of the heart we call the base, though it's not at the bottom. It's actually at the top. It is the, at the top. base of the heart is what holds the heart into the body. So I think of it as its support system, even though it's not actually on the bottom of the heart. Um, and from here, you can see a couple of things. I'm going to move over into here. Um, the main portion we're looking at of the heart that's all big and red is actually the ventricles. Um, so we have the left and the right ventricles from the outside. And then on the top we have these little things that look like ear. And if you remember what the ears were called. <gasps> the oracle. The oracles. These are the right and the left oracles from the outside. Now also running kind of right down the center of the heart here is the anterior interventricular sulcus. You guys better get really good at spelling the word interventricular. We're going to write it about 12 times. Um, the anterior interventricular sulcus will have the arteries and veins running in them. Now on the posterior side of the heart, if we kind of flip this over, there's another sulcus. It's called the posterior interventricular sulcus um, on the back side, and this hole is not real. Your heart does not have it in it. That's just for the stand. Just so you know. I've had people ask. Yeah. Right, now wrapping around kind of the separation between the anterior or between the oracles and the ventricles is the coronary sulcus. So the coronary sulcus is gonna wrap around underneath the oracles around the entire heart. Okay, right, so now let's look at some of the major blood vessels up here at the top. The first you can see right on the front is our pulmonary trunk. Um, the pulmonary trunk is going to be taking blood out to the lungs. And so it has to separate into two, a right and a left pulmonary artery as they move out to the lungs. Now, Corrine, why the heck are these blue? <gasps> why are they blue? Because they have to go to the lungs to get oxygen. I they thought are arteries were red. No, it follow oxygen. Oh. Blue is deoxygenated. Red is oxygenated. Right. Okay, so in the heart only, in this spot, we see the pulmonary arteries are actually blue because they are leaving the heart. So all arteries will be going away from the heart. And then below these on the side, you can see the pulmonary veins, which are now red, coming back into the heart. Because they are oxygenated. they now have the oxygen from the lungs. Yep. Now we also have the superior and inferior vena cava. So the superior and then down here is going to be your inferior. These are going to be bringing blood back into the heart from the body. So they are big fat veins. And then the last thing to look at is this great big arch on the top. This is the aorta. It is the big fat artery that's bringing blood away from the heart and heading out to the rest of the body. There are also three little branches that come off of the top. They go in the order of your ABCs. So this is the brachiocephalic, the left common carotid, and then the left subclavian artery, which will go off basically to the head. All right, so I think that's it from the outside. 